Hey there guys and gals, welcome back. I'm LJ, are you ready to tinker and play? Well today is gonna to be a fun one. Today I'm just going to be taking this, you know, cardboard and styrofoam monstrosity and we're gonna to try to transform it into a zombie monstrosity using these uh, Scott uh, shop paper towels. Oh, some uh, acrylic fingernails for teeth. We got a glue gun back here. We've got the heat gun. We've got spray adhesive. We've got Dura Grime and Dura Blood. We've got acrylic paints. We've got paint brushes. I've already used the Gorilla Tape. A whole bag of my extra plastic that I keep. I've already used the Saran Wrap to wrap it around this styrofoam wig head here uh, that I got on Amazon. I'll have links to everything in the uh, description section. So that's what I've got sitting here. I took one of my Amazon uh, delivery boxes, just like I did with the werewolf um, uh, prop head build, which you can go check that video out. Um, I made that for my shoulders. I kind of like that idea, so I keep these and do that. I take my styrofoam wig heads here, and then I kind of get them taped down to the box, and then I just build the head out with either aluminum foil, plastic, or whatever, and then do weird ways of making my crazy zombies and monsters. So that's what we're doing today. Before we move forward, go ahead and hit like on this video for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Love to have you on board as a subscriber. And then once you're a subscriber, activate notifications so you don't miss out on future um, videos like this, creature making uh, videos, monster making videos, everything else we do on the channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and start building on to this uh, this mannequin head, the styrofoam wig head here, uh, with this with this plastic. So I want to go ahead and start uh, adding some heat to it to get it to kind of shrink down and fit on here. And then I want to keep adding plastic on it because I want to be able to glue this on with the spray glue, the spray adhesive. So let's go ahead and start uh, attacking this with a little bit of heat and getting this to shrink down a little bit more onto that head. Now I'm just gonna grab like just a random piece of plastic I have in my bag here. Uh, and this one right here is actually, it might fit over top of the head <laughs> and it certainly does. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna melt that onto there. I'm just ripping apart my plastic here, laying it on here and just melting it down. Right here across here we got some nice neat looking like eyebrow ridges right there across the top of the this area right here at the bottom of the forehead that's pretty neat so I'm gonna start building on that now let's start uh, getting a little bit more plastic around the neck I'm just heating up a big like plastic bag running around the back of this uh, head and down over the side here and kind of heating it up and molding it so that it sticks there on the uh, overhang of this uh, this box. Now I'm just going to kind of build on that and then we're going to start making some facial features. All right, so I feel like I've got enough plastic uh, on this guy right now to get it going and start building up with this uh, uh, shop towel and spray adhesive. So I'm gonna start building up a little bit of that around the face so I can make two of these. And I'll have both my eyebrows done here. Don't have to be anything um, special. Douse them in uh, spray adhesive here. Put a little spray adhesive over here where I want my eyebrows to go. We're going to go ahead and take this and start building on our brow, and it should just stick to it. Get this side over here. I like to create nice big ridges on the, the brow there. I really do like that. I like that look, and I can start uh, uh, making my eye now based off this brow here. 
And of course, I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker over here than the middle part, but I wanted to have like a raised brow there. It's been about a minute, so let's stick this on here and start building that, uh, the form of the eye out here. All right, let's go ahead and get this eye piece built in here. There we go. Sort of looks like uh, Spider-Man uh, eyes on his, on his mask, doesn't it? That's all right. We're going to build on that, paint it, and make it look really cool. I'm going to double these over, like I said. They'll stick to each other because you got glue. And then we're going to go ahead and just build our nose. I put a generous amount of glue on here, too, so <laughs> that way it'll, it'll stick to whatever's around it. All right, these mouthpieces are ready to go. It gets a little sticky, but that's all right. So I'm gonna put this up here, make sure I leave my my nose cavity there. So there, we've we've kind of got eyes, little nose area, we got that mouth there. Um, I think that's looking pretty decent right there. All right, guys and gals, from the last frame, you can obviously see that this guy is different, and here's why I lost a lot of my video. My video just cut off, I didn't hear it, so I just kept making this thing, and uh, so I'm back here to tell you what all I did between putting that plastic on and what you see now So I did melt a lot just, just a little bit more of that plastic around his head to make this head a little bit bigger And then all I did was spray paint the inside of his mouth and nose with a little bit of uh, red spray paint basically I just covered up the plastic um, In various ways see that plastic right there. I just covered it up made it kind of look I just wanted to make it look kind of striated and I did that with just the Gorilla spray adhesive, that's it. Um, and then I built up the nose a little bit more, the lips a little more. I got to do a little bit more on the top lip. Kind of built up around the eyes. And I put these two ping pong balls there and for eyes. And I'll paint those up later on in the video. Can't really do anything when I got these pieces right here sticking out. But if I make it more, cover it up a little bit more with this paper towel, it'll look a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So there we go. See, we got a more uniform jaw, bottom jaw there. Now I got to build up the top lip. All right, I finished with the the paper towel portion of this. You see, I'm going all around. You see all these different layers of this paper towel, mostly non-straight edges. There's a couple places I have straight edges. You're just you really it's hard to avoid that. Uh, but up in here, the main part is not really a lot of straight edges. Now it's going to be time to add on a flesh color. So my flesh color that I'm gonna use for this to cover up this whole thing is gonna be a mixture of this rose pink light color, and I'm gonna to tone that down a little bit with actually some silver, some gray. Um, I wanna to tone it down to not a living flesh, but I want it to look more like a dead flesh tone. Maybe some living, a mix of some living and some dead. Then. We're going to put hair on this thing. We're going to put teeth in here. I'm going to paint the eyeballs some sort of color. And then um, I'm going to put some drippy blood and grime, uh, Dura blood and Dura, Dura grime on uh, this, this zombie, this monster, this creature. And I'm going to have links to all this stuff in the description section. So check that out. Make sure you like this video for me and hit that subscribe button and activate notifications if you haven't already. That way you don't miss out on future videos we do on the channel. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing looks like when I'm done here. Uh, it's just going to be a crazy unique uh, monster for my zombie uh, gauntlet is what I'm calling it. Now, let's get to mixing these colors and getting this thing looking like it's got flesh on it. Let's see what this color does. Wow, well, that's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. Uh, if I have some variations, uh, darker colors and the more rose flesh color, uh, colors. I'm not mad at that either. That that just adds a little bit of uniqueness to this fella. I don't know if I've said this or not, but the reason why I use the these shop towels is because they're thicker, they're more durable, and if you use your regular old cheap paper towels that are for your kitchen, right here, these things like they rip and tear too much and stick to your fingers too much, especially with your, when you're working with glue and paints. 
and these just hold everything, hold um, forms better, and you can work with it better. Uh, he's, he's getting there, he's getting there. We're about a uh, third of the way done here. Uh, but these, man, these, uh, these lazy Susans, these spinning tables here, they really do help you as you're, as you're traversing this guy and your, your projects and you're trying to get them painted. You can use this table to move it around and paint all over it as you turn them around. That's, that's the cool thing about this, this uh, Lazy Susan and why I use them on all, almost all my projects like this. As I'm mixing uh, these various colors of flesh color, rotting fresh flesh color, I'm getting different variations each batch and I'm working that in here and, and making it work for, the, for me really well. And you can see it's bringing out all those pieces like they're nice striations in the muscles and tendons. And if you want to make artificial ones like that, you can come back over here with little with little rolls of paper towel and kind of make put them in here and then you come back over that um, you know glue them on there and paint them over there it just looks like you know exposed tendons but I got some of that already going for me on here all right we've got al almost all this front and top part done up here this is the main part the back part I'm just gonna cover it so that it's covered but it's gonna be covered by clothing and stuff in my haunt but to add variations, I've gone darker and lighter. Now I'm gonna actually add some red, actually bright red, in with this mixture, a little bit of pink, or the flesh tone type color, and a little bit of that gray. Mix this up, and I'm gonna put little splotches all over them. I'm not gonna mix this up like all the way. I'm actually just gonna get that on my brush, like that, so it looks all like rainbow color there, and I'm just gonna hit it in spots, make it look more fleshy. But just so it kind of looks like a just a different kind of look and feel there. Different tones to the dying flesh. You got some that's more alive than others. All my little flesh tones I'm gonna do and I just made sure I kind of blended them together but I did not want to overlap all the colors. Check out all that cool texture there. Almost see it just just by happenstance, I got myself a nice little wound there I can take advantage of. That's pretty cool. I'm going to come here and see all those wrinkles and striations that look like crazy skin. That's awesome. I, I like that. And then you can just take some hair and, and other stuff and, and uh, fix the spots that you don't particularly like. Man, that looks like a cool big wound there. Look at that. That's nice striations there. You know, the straight lines aren't bothering me as much as I thought they would. Sometimes they do. Uh, you want to try to stay away from those as much as possible, but look at that. That looks just like skin. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Look at I like the way that neck turned out. And the, the face doesn't look too awfully bad. All right, for my eyeballs, I'm going to go ahead and get me out a little bit of black paint. Don't need a lot because I'm only making the center black. And then I'm going to get this bright red paint. And then I'm going to add later on when I do the skin blood and grime dripping, I'm going to add a little bit of that blood and grime on the corners and on the outside of this eye. Don't need much here when I'm talking about what I'm going to do with my eyes, so i get the middle of my eye. If they're looking all wonky and everything, and one's looking one way, one's looking the other way, it doesn't matter if it's a zombie, it's a monster. And let's just say you find some spots on that eye you don't like, that there's too much black coming out of the middle. You just come in with a lot of red and just go into a spot and just do that. Just do this, and that will make a, you know, a little bit more brighter spot. All right, after mixing and remixing paint on these eyeballs, I went ahead and made the, the eyeballs dark. Went over with some red, make it look like really bloodshot and dying eyeballs with that glaring uh, pupil there, just to make them look like, just like dead, almost dying eyeballs. All right, so I've cut myself some teeth there. I left the spiky ends. So I can kind of maybe spike them up a little bit into this paper towel of this jaw right here, if you can see that. I'm going to try to do that. Uh, and then after that, we'll paint it after we uh, use the hot glue gun here. All right, there's all those teeth that I'm going to have inside this zombie. I'm going to go ahead and paint those teeth a dirty, grungy, like grayish black color.
right? Now let's come back with that gray and really make those teeth stand out. So there we go. There are those teeth. There are those gums. There are multiple ways to put on hair. You can use the hot glue, which makes a little bit of a mess. Um, gets really sticky. You gotta put it on there and touch it. And it really sticks to your fingers. You can use silicone, which is probably probably the best way, but you can also use the uh, uh, spray adhesive here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue using this. Um, it can be a little bit of a mess too, but it comes off your fingers pretty easily with, with washing. So I'm just gonna find a spot down here I wanna cover up, put a little bit of that on there, let it dry a little bit. And I've cut my hair, this is just you know, wig hair or extensions, and uh, I've cut down really short because it has a little bit too many curls in there for me. Then I'm going to come in here and attach this hair where I put that uh, spray adhesive. Not touch it too much. Get it on there and hit it with a little bit more. Just try to keep in, in mind. Let it dry for a few moments. Spread your hair out kind of like this and you're just going to as, as easy as you can stick it on there it's been about a minute or so so we're going to go here get it on there don't touch it too much so you got hair going around there i'll probably put some, i'm gonna put a few more patches of hair and we're going to work on making a cool um like bad spot up here like just really bad decaying uh spot right there all right look at this we got lots of hair going on this bad boy look at that Lots of hair on there using this spray adhesive here. Now, one thing I did realize, as I'm doing this, I didn't make enough like humps or protrusions for the ear. So I wanna have two ears on here. So I'm gonna take myself uh, this paper towel and I'm gonna roll it up in a way that looks like an ear. And then I'm just gonna attach it to both sides and then I'm gonna paint it with using the same paints that I painted the flesh tone. Put me a nice little decent amount of of uh, spray adhesive on there and then I'm going to spray onto the side that I want to stick to get that on there kind of hold it in my position there give it about a minute there I like how that hair just kind of sticks up there that looks really nice let's lift this up find a spot underneath there get that hair coming down over here let's hold it on there so it sticks looking pretty decent there so I got my ear on that side I'm gonna get this other ear on that side, on this side, and then I'm gonna paint those ears, and then we'll finish out building this thing. All right, everyone. The hair, I think, is done on this guy. Look at all that hair around there. Put it in some strategic places there. Put some eyebrows on there. Got those ears on there. Look at those, those ears underneath that hair now. Um, got those painted and set in there, looking pretty decent there. All right, for this wound section right here, I'm taking just some uh, white and some brown, mix it together, and I'll make like a little circle spot here. I'll make sure I make this all the way around because I want to bring in my black and put a little bit of depth into that wound. And I wanna come at the base of that, just kind of come around here at the base of that just to kind of give this wound some depth. That's what I'm doing it for, making that wound, getting that wound some depth. Now I'm gonna come in with a clean brush and kind of mix these together, bring it down. Towards the middle here. And you can go right in the middle here and make yourself like a, the bone section right here, like it's right all the way down to the bone. So I'm gonna be going back and forth with this Dura Grime and Dura Blood. So I'm gonna put some Dura Blood on here first, right around the edge of this thing here. First, this stuff's quite sticky, so just watch where you watch where you uh, you get it. And you wanna kinda of lead it back and forth, make some like blood trails there. We need some blood down dripping off this side, don't we? 
This stuff really works well with covering up some of your mistakes you think you made too. All right, so there we go. We got the Dura blood on there, and that looks like a pretty gnarly little wound there. Let's get a little bit of that Dura grime on there, see what that does to it. And I'm just gonna kind of add that right around the edge of this blood. Just right around the inside edge here, just kind of add a little bit more depth to this. All right, now it's time to really, really get this sucker going. So I'm gonna get some, uh, this Dura grime. I'm gonna come in here, go around this nose and the mouth. Just kind of add some stuff in here, let it drip. Maybe there's some of this in the back of the mouth, maybe a little bit. I actually want to put a little bit more red spray paint in this nose. I want it to stand out a little bit more. Let's do that. Much better. Check that out. I like that much better. That redness uh, coming out from that nose. Just know this stuff is sticky. So let's get some of this coming out of the mouth. You can definitely see the difference between the, the the colors of this Dura Grime and Dura Blood. All right, guys and gals, this is the zombie that I created here. Um, I redid the eyes, or really just finished out painting them the way I wanted them. I, I thought they just were too too much two-toned, too much just black and red, which looked really cool demon-like, but I uh, uh, went and asked my wife, I'm like, what the heck is this thing needing? And she said, you really need to do something with the eyes. Let me know what you think about that uh, improvement in the comment section. But this is it. This is that zombie from, let's do a little 360 twirl here. Um, he's going to look pretty cool, I think, in the Halloween haunt and and, and, and so forth uh, beyond 2024. Uh, I really like all the detail I was able to do with uh, these paints and things. Um, also, I like that uh, scar up there, that, that chunk that's taken out, or that wound. I really like that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit like on this video for me. Activate notifications. Once you subscribe, please do that. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's chat. I really love this thing. I'm looking forward to all the builds for the 2024 Halloween haunt. Uh, so if you are uh, looking forward to following me, do it. Go ahead and activate notifications. I'm LJ. I want to remind you to have an awesome day and always find time to tinker and play.